should be good. Okay, now that I've got my uh, cabinet frame in place that's holding up the handsink, we're gonna start installing the drains, the faucets, and then finish up the drain plumbing. So first we're gonna start with the drains and I'll show you uh, how easy these are to get hooked up. So for the drain portion, all you need is some um, uh, plumber's putty and um, some Teflon tape. This, is, this tape is rated for gas or water lines. Uh, it's called Mega Tape. That's what I like to use so I don't have to switch between uh, white tape and yellow tape. So this stuff's pretty good and plumber's putty. This part of the drain um, goes underneath and then this is the fitting that will go inside um, your the slip pipe. So we'll keep that off to the side for now. And then you'll need to this is just the drain stop, the strainer. We'll set that off to the side. Unscrew this. So this is just to tighten up the drain to the sink. And then this is an O-ring seal that will go underneath the sink with the nut here. So uh, we're gonna put some plumber's putty inside the sink around here and then drop this in and then we'll use this part to tighten it up. So I just take a small amount of putty here, especially for this small drain, and we'll roll it. Like that. Wrap it around just like that. Okay, once your uh, rubber gasket and your um, nut is tightened up here, you just want to come in. Probably don't need to on um, a drain like this because there's no pressurized water or anything like that, but we're going to go ahead and um, put some Teflon tape on the thread, just some thread tape. Do a few wraps around this. Just to make sure we're not gonna get any leaks. And then here, uh, you've got, this is called a tailpiece. You can see it's got the flange on the top. This um, piece of plastic here is flange. It goes in the top like that. And then this will slide up the tailpiece to the top. And then you just screw this on. Get that on there nice and tight. So now this is ready um, for your drain pipe. So, so for the triple sink, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. So for the drain assembly, we essentially just need four parts. The first part being the tailpiece, and then the trap adapter, and then the sanitary T, and then of course our one and a half inch PVC pipe. To assemble them, I'm just using the standard uh, PVC purple primer with the medium clear cement. 
So I'm applying the primer to both ends of the connections and then applying the cement and fitting them together and holding them uh, for a few seconds there. Okay, so I realized when I was connecting my sanitary tees here, that's what this is, this is a sanitary tee uh, fitting for PVC. I realized that I uh, put the end one on the wrong way, so I went in and fixed that and uh, we flipped it. That way the water flow comes in here and then goes down into our P-trap because we we're um, I'm gonna connect a P-trap to the end of this. My health code department doesn't require it because we require the tanks, the gray water tank to be 15% larger than the freshwater tank. So theoretically there should be no risk of backflow into um, the sinks from the gray tank. But uh, you could still get odors in your gray tank with all the stuff that you're putting down your sinks and, and into the drain. So to prevent those odor gases from coming back into the trailer, a peat trap um, stops that. Um, and then on my mop sink, I'm actually gonna install a Heplo valve, which is a waterless peat trap on it. So, uh, but for this setup, we're gonna run a peat trap at the end of our connection here. Uh, I decided to get a peat trap with a clean out um, drain here. So uh, in the winter time, it's easy to drain the water out of the P-trap when you're winterizing it. And then if you get any gunk in here, it's easy to clean it. Um, so that's why we went with this here. So I'm just gonna get this all connected up. And so uh, get... here is a look at the setup right now. We've got our hand wash sink coming down into that drain and then over into our three compartment sink and then into the P-trap and over into the main drain pipe with the air admittance valve. So the only thing that I don't have right now is our mop sink that we're gonna add over here. So I'll show that later once we get that set up. So here's a final look at the uh, drainage plumbing. So we got our main drain there going through the floor of the trailer and we're gonna uh, connect that to our gray tank. And then up top, we're gonna have a air admittance valve on the top of that. And it comes into the P-trap with a clean out drain and then into our first compartment of the three compartment sink and over and then up into our hand sink 